Ooh, we're live. How's everybody doing? What's going on? I haven't talked to you guys in a little while. How's everybody doing? Sunshine. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Pink for Chromatica. <laughs> That's not why I was doing the pink, but yeah, I love that new song. The video's dope. How's Pharaoh? He's good, he's napping. Pharaoh loves sunbathing. I feel like this is not quite the right filter, but you know. <laughs> I'm like all the way in. How's everybody doing? We're still social distancing, huh? But I hear good things that in Europe you guys are kind of opening back up and parts of the US are opening back up. Um, how's everybody feeling? I've been good. I've been trying to be as productive as possible. Um, so I've been like working on some music with some people and making moves, you know, making plans for the future, trying to find some new opportunities and stuff. It's really exciting. Um, good stuff on the horizon. Pharaoh is, he's over there. <laughs> if he comes over here, I'll film him. He's just laid out. He loves, he loves it. He's just like the sun. He's tanning. <laughs> How do you decide the order of the songs on your album? You know, actually, that is a good question. It is really a tricky thing to do. It's tough. It's, it's a hard decision. I, um, some of it had to do with the fact that, like, some of the songs had already been out, so I kind of put certain ones, like, further down the list, I guess. I don't know. I didn't really have a method. I just kind of listened to it in the order that I'd want to listen to it, really. Very arbitrary. And of course, then like the album comes out and you go, oh, should I have done that? Should I have done that order? Should I have done this one? And you can overthink it and make yourself crazy. But, you know, everyone has the buttons that let you fast forward and rewind through tracks, right? <laughs> Although I'm really excited to get the, um, the vinyl out. That should be really cool. We're, I think that's soon. Um, I've kind of had a vinyl moment lately. I ordered some vinyl online. Um, I actually ordered uh, Madonna's Ray of Light album on vinyl, and it's sounds gorgeous. And it brought me back because, like, I remember knowing every word to that album when it came out. Cause I'm old. Am I single? Yep. Especially in quarantine. I mean, <laughs> you know, there's no dating in quarantine. I mean, I guess I've like chit chatted with a couple guys online, like text, but I don't know. It's just not the same. Where are, am I? I love to hear the birds chirping. Yeah, the, um, it's, you know, I got to say, we are lucky to have this beautiful weather here in Los Angeles. I'm in my backyard and it's, it's beautiful out today. It really is. <laughs> Single and ready to mingle. That's right. Yeah, I don't think there's, I mean, where am I going to mingle? <laughs> What's my biggest influence when writing music? Um, I just try to write from real life experiences, you know? Um, that way it feels like the most real. And I try to figure out experiences that other people may have also experienced. 
so that we can all relate to each other, you know? Can you sing some of Rain On Me? I did, I just did. <laughs> oh, I'd rather be dry, but at least I'm alive. Rain on me, rain, rain, rain on me. Da -da -da -ba -da. I don't know all the words. What's your favorite song to sing with Queen? I don't really have a favorite. Um, there's so many amazing songs in their catalog it, it, and they like all kind of have a different flavor. So I, don't know, I guess it depends on the mood of the day. Do you like Japan? Yes, I love Japan. Oh, hi, Stephen Young. How are you? <laughs> who is your crush? You want to see my crush? Go through who I'm following on Instagram. There's a lot of beautiful men on there. <laughs> I have a crush on all of them. How's that? <laughs> I, I was looking through Instagram the other day and I thought to myself, why are there so many beautiful people? It's like, when did this happen? I guess it's always been that way, but wow, just beautiful people. But you know, I mean, that being said, I love looking at beauty. It's so fun. But I think the one of the traps of Instagram is that we get like so hung up on the way everything looks and how we look as people. And I think it's kind of dangerous because some of the other more important stuff kind of falls by the wayside, you know, like having a personality, uh, <laughs> being educated, um, being funny. Um, I mean, Instagram, TikTok, yeah, people can express their humor. That's true. So there is some of it, but um, it's easy to kind of fall into like a shallow mindset, you know? Dig deeper. We all have to dig. Hi from Helsinki. Are you more girly or manly? What kind of fucking question is that? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm reading all your guys' uh... Staten Island in the house. Ooh, sketchy goat. I love your art. Thank you so much. I've been posting it. husband <laughs> are you watching drag race tonight yes i do want to watch drag race tonight i've been watching the season it's been great hi novena when did i notice that i was gay honey i never noticed because i think i was born that way um, <laughs> I think in sixth grade. Where am I now? I'm in my backyard. It's nice out. No spoilers, please? What do you mean spoilers? What? Who am I rooting for on RuPaul? Um... I like Gigi and Jada, I think. I think those two are my favorite. The best and worst things about being in isolation. Well, um, I definitely have gotten a lot of rest, <laughs> a lot of sleep. Um, and I think it's been good because it's kind of given me time to like reset a little bit and wipe the slate clean and kind of get ready creatively for whatever I'm doing next. Um, sometimes, you know, when you're like rushing around on a busy schedule, it, you, it's like kind of hard to catch your breath like mentally. So that's been nice. Um, obviously I, I miss being social. Like I miss a lot of my friends, um, and thank God for FaceTime and zoom and stuff, but it's not the same. Like I want to have a party. <laughs> What's my thoughts on Sherry Pie being disqualified? Um, I think they did the right thing, you know? Um, usually when shows like that put contestants on, they vet them and they like do some research and find out stuff about people and make sure that the person is like mentally stable and whatnot. And you know, when they find out stuff like that, it's kind of like, well, you know, I think they did the right thing.
What else, guys? Wow, we have 2,500 people. Do I have house party? You know, I do have house party, and I've used it like twice. I don't know. I like, and I looked at the little icon on my phone the other day, and it had like, but I've missed like 30 messages from people. I don't, I don't know. I just haven't gotten into it. I don't know. I think the first couple of weeks of quarantine, I was like, sort of freaked out and pissed off and scared but also like kind of like okay this is nuts let's enjoy the weirdness of this and I um I was kind of into this like okay let's all get on a house party call and all that stuff and now I think I've kind of gotten into a groove of like just waiting it out you know what I mean trying to be productive like doing like work and stuff this is jelly everybody hi (laughs) <laughs> that's Terrence and Anthony's dog my my roommates for those of you who don't know I have roommates right now during quarantine my buddy Terrence who's danced for me um, for years he uh, he came out to LA because he was going to do the Hamilton musical that was opening here um, and he was relocating and so he was here while I was on tour in Australia sort of house sitting and landing here to go find a spot and then I got back and they were going to start looking for stuff and the quarantine happened so I said just stay here and I'm so grateful that they did because um having company in the house has been the way to go that wasn't Pharaoh that was Jelly Sonia Pharaoh's over here you want to see Pharaoh you guys here's Pharaoh Say hi, Pharaoh. Oh, he likes to rest his head on the step. Yeah. Favorite on Netflix. Yeah, I've been, what? Are Fairy and Jelly a thing? (laughs) I think they have like a sibling type relationship because Jelly's like a year old and Pharaoh's six now. Uh, But they play a lot. I'll try to catch it on Instagram soon. Are you leaving? I'm on an Instagram live. Say hi. Hi, Instagram live. (laughs) I think that's my cue to go. I gotta go. I'm being called. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.